Okay, here we're being asked to find the value of x. So, in this case, we've got to make our own equation and then solve it. So, we've got a shape here, and it's these two lines mean that the two lengths are equal. So, what this is telling us is it's an isosceles triangle, and in an isosceles triangle, two lengths are the same, and the two angles at the base are the same. So 40 plus x is the same as 30 plus 2x. So because they're the same, we can write that as an equation. So 40 plus x is the same or equal to 30 plus 2x. And now we have to solve. So we get rid of the smallest x first. In this case, we've got 1x here. So we're going to take x away from both sides of the equation. That leaves us with 40 left on the left side and 30 plus 1x on the right side. Then I want x by itself, so I'm going to take away this 30 from both sides of the equation. Minus 30 from both sides of the equation. 40 minus 30 is 10, and that just leaves us with x over here. So x is equal to 10. Okay, here we've got a rectangle. Um, we should know that the two opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So 3x plus 2 is equal to x plus 12. So again, we form our own equation. And then we can solve it. So we're going to take away the smallest x. That's x, 1x. Take it away from both sides of the equation to keep it balanced. So we're doing the same thing to both sides of the equation, and that keeps it balanced. So 3x, take 1x, is 2x, still got 2 there, x minus x is nothing, and I've got 12 there. I want to get x by itself, so I want to get rid of this 2. To do that, I'm going to take 2 away from both sides. That leaves me with 2x is equal to 10. 2x is equal to 10, I can half both sides. x is equal to 5. Okay, you could try and pause the video if you, think, if you think you can form and solve your own equation. Or you could keep watching. So we've got a rectangle of length 3x plus 2 and width x plus 7. And the perimeter is 82 centimetres. So perimeter is all of the sides added together. So we've got x plus 7 here. So this must be x plus 7 here as well. We've got 3x plus 2. So this must also be 3x plus 2. So we're going to add all these up and then put it equal to 82 because that's the perimeter. So if we add up the x's, we've got 1 plus 3, 4, and then another 4 there. So we've got 8 x's and we've got 7 plus 2 there, 9, and another 9 for these two sides. So that's 18. So these add up to 8x plus 18. That's the perimeter. And we know that that is 82 centimetres. So it's equal to 82. And now we have to solve. So we're going to take 18 away from both sides. So 8x left here. 82 minus 18. That's 64. And then we're going to divide by 8. So x is equal to 8. So x is 8, 8 centimetres. So we could work out what any of these lengths are if we wanted to. This would be 8 plus 7, so it'd be 15 centimetres down there. So I'll put centimetres.